Mathematical optimization models of the kind discussed in this video series do have the following form. The objective is to maximize or minimize a real valued expression. The objective is subject to a set of Boolean valued constraints. We consider here m greater than or equal to zero constraints that compare two real valued expressions, the left hand side and right hand side of the constraint. The expressions depend on decision variables unless they are constant. Suppose that x1, x2 and so on up to xn are the decision variables. For each decision variable xi we have a domain di, that's a set of numbers from which we can choose a value for the decision variable xi. This is a very general setting and we want to discuss an important special case now. To define that case we specify what kind of comparisons are allowed to formulate a constraint, how the expressions may look like and what domains we are allowed to be defined. Let's start with the comparisons we can make in order to formulate a constraint. For the special case we allow less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal to constraints. Less than, greater than and unequal to constraints are not allowed. Next we define a type of expressions. In our special case all expressions have the form expression equals a1 times x1 plus a2 times x2 plus and so on up to a n x n plus a0 where the a's are parameters. Such expressions are affine expressions. If the left hand side as well as the right hand side of a constraint is affine, we face a so called linear constraint. And finally, what are the domains we are allowed to have? The domains di we are interested in are either closed intervals, that is, di 
equals a lower bound and an upper bound. All the domains are unbounded intervals. That is, the i equals minus infinity up to plus infinity or e, uh, the i equals minus infinity up to an upper bound or the i equals a lower bound up to plus infinity. If all these intervals are subsets of the set of real numbers, we call such models linear programs or LPs for short. In previous videos, we have used xi greater than or equal to zero as a shorthand notation for xi is in the interval from zero to plus infinity, which is a subset of the real numbers. Models where the decision variables are either real valued or integer valued, the mix is allowed, are called linear models. Note that linear models include linear programs and, in other words, linear programs are a subset of linear models. <laughs>